Good morning children, welcome back to our English class. So in the previous class, we came to know about uh, Amina that she moved on to the new house and uh, her room was very properly uh, arranged. Everything was kept in uh, the perfect place. Okay, and uh, uh, that day what happened is she played with the toys and uh, uh, left everything on the floor as she uh, used to do every time so she lived it uh, in the ne their places so now we will read and find out what happened the next day after she leaving the, her things uh, wherever they are now amina woke up the next morning to find that all the toys were back in their play proper places she was sure that no one had entered her bedroom so in the morning when she got up she was she was very surprised to see that all the things the toys her books everything was kept in order and she was very sure that no one has entered no one in the sense her mom or dad didn't enter into her bedroom she was very surprised to see that the same thing happened the next day and the next day. So, the next day and the next day, it means that two, three days, it happened the same thing. She used to play and leave it like that and by the morning, she would see everything was kept in order. The toys were kept in the shelf and uh, her books were kept on the reading table and everything was set. So, we will find out. Ami, uh, Amina was puzzled. Now, see, we will know what is the meaning of puzzled. Puzzled means could not understand, could not understand. So, puzzled means could not understand. She was in a shock. Oh, what is this? Where, what happened to my toys? Who kept this up in their places? She was puzzled. On the fourth day, when she went to get her first toy to play, the toy jumped out of her hands and said, I don't want to play with you. So, uh, as I said, this uh, thing happened two to three days, like this, the same she would leave it and the toys by the morning, everything was kept in order. So, fourth day, what happened? When she went to, to take one toy to play, the toy fell down, it jumped from hands. So, it jumped from her hands and said that, I don't want to play with you. We will read and find out why the toy did not want to play with her. Amina was shocked that the toy had talked and at what he had said. So, first of all, she was shocked that how the toy is talking to me and why is the toy saying the uh, thing that it was uh, uh, not uh, it did not want to play with her the same thing happened with the toy every toy she touched so uh, every toy she touched she uh, the every toy told the same thing an old teddy bear told her we don't want to play with you so the old teddy bear said that it did not want to play with her because why why do you think so because she would leave all her things uh, wherever they are she would play and uh, leave all the things uh, wherever they are so you always leave us away from our proper places do you know how difficult it is for books to climb back onto their shelves so now the toys are speaking the the toys and the books are saying see you we don't want to play with you because you play and leave us uh, wherever we are and uh, it is very difficult for the book to climb to the shelf you know where the shelves are you keep your books in the shelves you know now see the shelf meaning shelf plural form is shelves and rack racks to keep book and toys on so shelves i suppose everyone have shelves 
you keep uh, your books on the shelves itself so uh, the books were complaining that it is very difficult for them to climb back to the shelves or for pens to jump back into their boxes we won't play with you anymore until you promise to leave us in our little houses before you go off to bed so now the pens pencils all these are complaining that it is very difficult for us to go back to our places even for the pens especially so amina looked around all her toys and things looked very sad and angry amina felt bad she realized she had not treated them well so as all the toys and the things were very sad and angry with her she then realized that she did not treat them well she did not treat means she did not look after them well she said to all her toys and things i am very sorry please forgive me from that day amina always put her toys and other things properly in their special places before she went to bed so in this way she learned uh, the lesson that she should not leave the things uh, after playing she has to kept wherever they uh, they are because she came to know that all the things and the toys were very sad with her because she left it everywhere i hope you also realized if you would leave after playing any uh, uh, your things or the books uh, wherever they are and your mom has to pick up i feel hearing to this story you will also change yourself thank you children